January the 27th. For thus saith the High and Lofty One, that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy, I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble, and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. Isaiah chapter 57 verse 15 God is the furthest out, and the most within, and we should strive for the highest heaven. Without an end are bound, thy life lies all outspread in light. Our lives feel thy life all around, making our weakness strong, our darkness bright. Yet is it neither wilderness nor sea, but the calm gladness of a full eternity. F. W. Faber O truth, who art eternity, and love, who art truth, and eternity, who art love. Thou art my God, to thee do I sigh, night and day. When I first knew thee, thou lifest me up, that I might see there was somewhat for me to see, and that I was not yet such as to see, and thou streaming forth thy beams of light upon me most strongly, didst beat back the weakness of my sight, and I trembled with love and awe, and I perceived myself to be far off from thee in the region of unlikeness. St. Augustine And it doesn't say in Greek or Aramea or Biblical Hebrew, if you want to call it that, that God is love. God is loving, because certainly some love is of evil and ignorance. In the scripture of this age, the first verse about love by and for God, which there are far more than in the Bible, it says to love God more than everything else. Well, that's not an explicit translation, but that's the summary point.